hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel being engineer this is the third video related to curve and this video we will going to discuss how we can draw or set out a simple curve in the field without using a theodolite now this is going to be very interesting that how can we draw a curve without using the theodolite the method we will be using is setting out simple curve by ordinates from a long chord now what is long chord if you are not familiar with the technical terms related to curves you are requested to please watch my previous video in which i have discussed every technical term or notations used to describe a curve so in this video we will use this formula that is for by ordinates from a long chord what is r and r, what is x we will discuss in the upcoming slides but before we start our today's topic if you are new to my channel you are requested to please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get more video updates so let's start our today's topic setting out simple curve by ordinates from long chord now what is the procedure we will follow follow these steps one by one and try to keep these steps in mind because we are going to follow these steps to draw or set out a curve so you should keep these steps in your mind first step is tangent points are designated on the tangent lines again what is tangent point and tangent line these are technical terms if you are not familiar with these terms it will be difficult for you if you haven't watched my previous video watch that video to get better understanding of this topic so tangent points are designated on the tangent lines t1 and t2 are two tangent points and these are designated on the tangent line these are tangent lines the line ab and bc is the tangent line the second step is by joining two tangent points that is t1 and t2 a straight line that is long chord is formed midpoint of long chord is marked that is the half of the long chord is the midpoint of the long chord and the remaining distances that is l divided by 2 on the right side and the left side of the mid ordinate is divided into equal parts that is at the distance of x from the middle point of the long chord maximum the number of parts more accurate and beautiful curve will be formed the next step is perpendicular offsets that is ordinates perpendicular offsets that is the distance ef and similarly this distance these are perpendicular offsets from the long chord and these offsets are also called as ordinates as it is very obvious from the the method we are using is by ordinates from long chord and the length of each ordinate that is the length of each offset from long chord towards intersection point will be determined by using these formulas to determine the length of this that is length of ef we will use this formula that is of minus oe as you can see here of is the radius of the curve if we subtract oe that is distance from here to up to e if we subtract this distance from of we will get the length of this ordinate that is middle ordinate or, or we can use this simple formula r square plus l divided by 2 square under the root this is for middle ordinate and for ordinates at a distance x from the middle ordinate we can use the formula r square minus x square now x is the varying value that is distance from midpoint of the long or uh, long ordinate long chord sorry plus r square minus l divided by 2 square under the root so these two formulas will be used to draw a curve or set out a simple curve without using a theodolite now most of the students ask about how can we calculate the radius of the curve now there are different provisions as you can see here in the table the minimum radii uh, curves are important control values at designing for safe operation 
design guidance for curvature is shown in the table 2 3 in table 2 3 we can see here this is the design speed of the road and minimum radius of curve should be 755 feet if the speed is 45 millimeter uh, sorry miles per hour and similarly it should be 600 minimum maximum value is 755 for this design speed and 600 for this design speed and as you can see over here as the speed design speed increases the curvature radius of the curvature increases to give a smooth smooth deviation in the direction of the vehicle now it we have concluded that if we look at this formula that uh, that is for radius of the curvature r is equal to v square divided by 15 times of 0 0.01 e max plus f max we can see over here that the radius of curvature depends upon these three values that is the design speed which should be in miles per hour or kilometer per hour and it's it also depends on maximum rate rate of roadway super elevation in percentage and f max maximum side friction demand factor so the radius of curvature depends upon these three values now proceeding towards the practical procedure how can we draw uh, set or set out a simple curve in the ground first of all we have drawn that is the origin of the circle or curve and radius r1 have been drawn as you can see here this is the r1 and r2 of the curve and these are two tangent points t1 and t2 this is the length of the long chord or length of the long chord which is joining as you can see here this line the one you uh, are seeing this guy is uh, drawing this line which is long chord this is the radius t1 t2 and the uh, as you can see here is f as you following uh, the steps i have mentioned in my previous slides by joining two tangent points t1 and t2 a long chord is formed so the one you see in the blue color is the long chord so we have make this triangle as you can see here this is the radius radius and the long chord so this is the radius radius and the long chord and the one person you are seeing in black cloths is standing on the midpoint of the long chord as you can see here the step is midpoint of long chord is marked this is the midpoint of the long chord so after uh, determining the midpoint of the long chord we will remaining distances on right side and left side of the midpoint is divided into equal parts okay as we have discussed in my previous that is we will have to determine ox for ox you will have to um, uh, divide the half of the long chord into equal distances now you can see here these guys are dividing and installing the pegs at intervals at a specific intervals on a long chord that is if 25 is the center of the long chord and the distances uh, the other peg is installed at a distance of 5 feet and these will be divided uh, install uh, pegs will be installed on equal uh, on both right and left side of the midpoint of the long chord the di remaining distances on right and left side of the midpoint is divided into equal parts now you can see the long chord is divided into equal distances on both right and left side of the curve and it says that maximum the number of parts more accurate and beautiful curve will be formed now you see over here that these guys are now calculating the distances that is the length of the ordinates which are ox which we are going to discuss in upcoming slide that is the perpendicular offsets or ordinates from long chord toward intersection point will be drawn these point as you can see here this point 
O naught and at uh, at a specific distance distance x from the long chord. So how can you calculate this perpendicular offset in the ground without using any instrument? So to determine O x, we will use this formula. And uh, how would you know that if this point that is distance o x or line o x is perpendicular to this long chord so by using this simple formula which is pythagoras theorem you can calculate the perpendicular from you can find that this line is perpendicular to this line if the length of this line which is along the long chord is 3 meter the other length is 4 meters and this line should be 5 meters or whichever unit you are using 3 feet 4 feet this length should be 5 if it comes out to be 5 it's mean that this line is perpendicular over this line similarly you can calculate you will have to calculate at each interval of the peg on a long chord uh, let me explain this by an example let the radius of the curve is 150 meters length of the chord is 100 meter peg intervals are 10 meters like x1 is 10, x2 is 20, x3 is 30, x4 is 40 and x5 is 50. So to calculate the mid, middle ordinate O0 we will use this formula R minus that is the radius of the curve under the root R square radius of the curve L is the length of the curve and by simplifying it we will get the value of mid ordinate that is 8158 meters. So for other distances from middle ordinate x1, x1 is 10 and by placing other values we will get the value of O1 which is 8.25 for O2 it is 7.24 by simply replacing the value of X2 which is 20 and by replacing the values of X uh, as we know that peg intervals are 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50 so for O3 the value of X is 30 and the value comes out to be 5.55 meters for O4 x the value of x is 40 and the value of ordinate is 3.15 meters similarly calculate for of and we have found that it is equal to 0 it means that we have reached the tangent point from where curve is starting as you can see here the value of x value of x when a value of x is equal to 0 it means that we are standing at the midpoint of the long chord and its will this value is maximum as you can see here 8.58 is maximum and as we proceed towards the tangent point this value is decreasing and ultimately it becomes zero at the start of the curve so over here as you can see that we have calculated the values and have, we have also drawn the perpendicular offsets and and drawn the curve on the ground as you can see here this is the long chord and pegs are placed an interval of equal distances on both right and left side of the middle point and these offsets have been drawn perpendicularly from the long chord and the simple and beautiful curve has been drawn this is the end of the video you are requested to please this is the end of the video. I hope you have understand the topic. For more videos you are requested to please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get more video updates.